I feel like I only ever upload videos in this shirt, but I promise I do own more clothes. I just like this shirt a lot. <laughs> Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming a kind of first impressions, try to do a glowy look for the summer for you guys. Um, I went and bought a l quite a few products yesterday um, and over the past sort of couple of weeks or the last week, two weeks, um, since I got back from holiday I have bought a couple of things um, and I just thought that you guys might like to see a kind of summery makeup tutorial since we are coming into summer or we are officially in summer. Um, so yeah if you'd like to see this look then just keep watching. So all I've done so far is apply my Embryolise moisturiser, same moisturiser I always use because I love it. Um, then the next, the um, first thing I bought uh, when I came back from holiday was this Nip and Fab Hydrate Dragon's Blood Fix Hyaluronic Shop, if that's how you pronounce it, and it's got this like pipette button on top um, and it is a pipette type thing and all I do is just pop that on my head sorry if that just moved the camera and on my cheeks oh it's gonna fall off and then I just rub that into my skin now I always feel like when I come well I say I always feel like I've been on holiday like three times um, twice since being like since like wearing makeup and um, and I always feel like oh, I always feel like my skin needs to be kind of rehydrated because you've spent so long in the sun over your holiday that I feel like it can sometimes feel like your skin's dried out a little bit um, and that is a really nice product to do that um, I'm then going to take the L'Oreal Lumi Magic uh, little primer um, and I'm just going to take one pump of that on my hand um, without it falling over um, and then I just rub it into my fingers and then blob it on my face wherever I want it and just rub it in now I've, I had never tried a um, kind of illuminating primer before this one um, I'd never really tried a face primer if I'm honest um, a lot of the time I'm just going to turn that light on a lot of the time um, I just use a moisturiser so I never really thought about using a primer but honestly when you put that on your skin feels so soft like just so um, kind of evened out like it's filled in all your pores um, and I really like that um, and then I'm going to take my Wake Me Up foundation in the shade Ivory and I'm just going to take two pumps of that and I'm just going to put that on my face where I want it. Um, my windows are also open so not that there's any noise at the moment but if there is that will be what it is and um, the first thing i bought yesterday they're falling out um was just these blending sponges um yeah um i don't even i don't really know what this brand is but i got these from super drugs um they were 14.99 i believe for four um and I'm going to use one of them instead of my Real Techniques. One thing I do notice about this is it feels a lot more kind of dense, it's heavier um, and I have uh, run it under water so it is damp um, but I see a lot of people using different beauty blenders and yeah so I thought I'd give it a try. So I'm going to use actually the kind of fat straight edge of it if you like. And I'm just going to use it to blend. And obviously the good thing about this, if I like it, is that um, 
it's quite a bit cheaper than the Real Techniques ones, which I don't mind them being more expensive because I know that they work um, and I've used them forever. Um, so they kind of became a staple and um, I don't know, I just think when you know that a product works you don't mind spending a bit of money on it. Um, but obviously if you can get it for cheaper then and it, and it will do kind of the same sort of job then that's just a bonus really and I'm all up for saving money because that means you can buy more makeup <laughs> if this video doesn't work out I will be super annoyed because I've already filmed this once yeah, once, yesterday, and I accidentally deleted it when I went to film another one, which will be the video that you will see Sunday the 25th, so you will have already seen the video that I filmed yesterday. Um, I'm then going to take my Collection Last and Perfection Concealer in Fair, and I'm going to pop that under my eyes, on my nose, down the bridge of my nose, and just a little bit on my forehead. Well, that isn't creepy at all. My well, door just opened by itself. Brilliant. I'm then going to take kind of the pointed um, edge of it and use that to blend. I feel like with the pointed edge, you can get um, a more precise kind of blend if you like so um like round your eyes you can really get in the inner corner which is always a bonus because that's kind of where you need it everyone kind of needs it most in their inner corner because obviously the inner corner of your eye is kind of hidden behind your nose so it's quite shaded if you like if that's the way you want to look at it um i'm sorry about one of my handles on my chest of drawers is really rattling i don't really know why Okay, so I really like this sponge. I'm impressed with that. I like that. Um, the next thing I'm going to take is my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent and my Real Techniques Blush Brush. And I'm only putting that um, in the T-zone, so forehead, down the nose, kind of chin, and then I'm just putting it around my eyes to just sit in that concealer because you still want kind of the rest of your skin to be quite glowy um, because that's the look we're going for so <laughs> I'm then going to just quickly if I can find it brush through my brows and then I'm going to take my Real Techniques 20, uh, 202 brush which is just a small angled brush and my Rimmel Brow This Way palette um, and just the wax side as I always do but um, recently I've been doing them a lot lighter um, I've literally just been kind of filling in the tail of the brow as much as it kind of needs to be um, and then I'm just taking a tiny tiny bit of the product just through the front of the brow just to kind of my eyes always water when I do my brows. Why is that? Do I stare when I do my brows? I don't really know, but if anyone can help me with that dilemma, then please feel free. I always feel like um, one brow needs a bit more work than the other. Does anyone else find that? Like... This eyebrow is my good eyebrow. This one just doesn't want to work with me. So I have to kind of work with it as it wants to. It's like it can't be bothered. It's like the lazy person at work. Do we all have that person at work? Right, I'm then going to take my Maybelline Brow Drama in medium brown. 
there will be new products coming, I promise. <laughs> uh, all I've used so far that's new, t I mean, the um, L'Oreal primer I have been using over the last sort of week. Um, and the same with the uh, Nip and Fab Hydrate hydrating drops if you like um i've been using them over the last sort of week um but what was new that i've used i haven't used it this yet and whatever i use now i haven't used yet so just bear with me i promise there's new products um to be honest the only kind of new products that's just a new um, Soap and Glory Super Cat liner that I bought because mine is running out. So, oh, itchy nose, that isn't a new product. I've got the Tanya Burr um, My Paradise eyeshadow palette, or I have got, let me take it out of the box. This is a new look eyeshadow palette. Um, I don't know if they actually have names. I don't think they have names, but um, I just went for, oh, this one's called Dark Nudes. So I went for, I was just going to say I went for the nude palette because um, the other one was a bit, um, I don't know, if it wasn't very good, it would be, it would look really bad. Whereas I feel like with nudes, you can kind of work them to look okay if they're bad. So um, I went for the nudes. Um, so the first colour I'm going to go in with is this one here. I don't think they actually have names like individually, but I'm going to go with this one here, um, which is just more of a pinky toned nude. And I'm going to go through the crease with that. Okay, so the first thing I notice about that shade is that it's a lot darker when it goes on than it is in the pan so that's something to bear in mind um, it comes out more of a like warm brown tone um, than it does in the pan which I don't know maybe it's not such a bad thing when you know what the colours look like on I don't think it's so bad, but when you expect it to look that colour and it doesn't come out that colour, that's kind of, the first reaction is kind of, oh, okay. Um, right, I'm then going to take this shade here, which has got a tiny bit of shimmer in it, um, but I'm going to take that just through the crease over that one that we've just put. Um, they are quite pigmented actually, I'm quite surprised because um, I just didn't think they would be, I don't know, maybe I just judged new look makeup way too early. I think you always kind of assume that um, makeup products from like clothing brands is going to be rubbish because that's kind of not what they specialise in if you like. So I think that's kind of what I did, but I'm not too disappointed, if I'm honest. Um, and this, I'm pretty sure this was only like 4 .99. I think I just threw the box away, but I'm pretty sure this was only 4 .99. So that is really good for a, an eyeshadow palette. If you're starting out and you want to just try with some nudes first, then yeah, I would, I think I'd recommend this. Um, and I don't know if I said, but I'm using my Real Techniques uh, 203 brush, but I always use them anyway, so you probably know that by now. If you don't, I'm sorry, and you need to watch more of my videos. So this was yesterday, I did kind of a fresh 
um, summery look and it hasn't really turned out like that today but that's okay because I can do that another day maybe that'll be next week's would anyone be interested in seeing a um, fresh summery look next week and then maybe I can use the Tanya Burr My Paradise because they're kind of more fresh colours than um, the kind of dark nudes that I have got okay so I like that um, I think that they blend quite nicely and um, the only thing was that the colours were a little bit darker than they look in the pan and um, but they give off um, enough pigment I think I don't think there is anything wrong with the pigment um, like I said they blend nicely and I like the colours that it's just kind of a standard nude palette which I think everyone can like one of them so what I'm actually going to do if I can get this open is maybe take one of these colours just on the eyelid hate opening makeup packets why do they make them so hard to get into There we go. Right. So then I'm just going to take a flat brush and I'm going to take this one here which is called Miami Sunrise from Tiny Birds My Paradise Parrot Palette. And I'm just going to pop that in kind of the middle. Um, kind of all over the moving eyelid if you like just to give it a bit of shimmer because can you ever have too much shimmer I don't think so and this look doesn't have any shimmer so we need some okay sweet I like that and um, I do like the colours in this though you get um, three shimmers these three here are shimmers and then this one down here is just a matte brown which I like um, you always need at least one matte in an eyeshadow palette um, and Tiny Bear has done that so that's brilliant um, I'm actually going to take whilst I'm using it I'm going to take that same colour from the Tiny Bear palette and I'm just going to pop that under my eye just to give that a little bit of something I always put myself in the eye when I do this with a flat brush right there's a fly in my room somewhere cool so I'm then going to take um, my Soap and Glory Super Cat Liner I think it's carbon black yeah carbon black so I'm just going to line my lashes with that and then I'll be back with you. That will do. I swear I always say that I'm just going to line my lashes and it never ends up as just lining my lashes. <laughs> so we have eyeliner on. We have no flick but we have eyeliner on. I'm just going to curl my lashes using my lash curlers obviously. Okay, then I'm going to take my uh, L'Oreal uh, Baby Royal Mascara, which I have been loving. Um, it has taken over my love for my Colossal, I believe. When I first used it, I wasn't sure because it was quite um, a wet mascara. And um, I wasn't really 100% on whether I was going to like it because I like quite, um, I like to have quite a bit of control over what I'm doing with my lashes and I always feel like with wet mascaras they just clump your lashes together um, and I didn't like it but now that it's dried out a little bit 
It's amazing. Literally. I love it. The first coat, obviously you can wear it as quite a natural mascara if that's the look that you like. Um, I like quite a thick mascara so I always go in with the second coat but you don't have to do that if that's not the look you go for but I like how it looks with a second coat so whatever. Um, I'm then going in with my Rimmel Contour Palette um, and my Real Techniques Contour Brush as I always do. And I've not really taken that much um, because I've been liking quite a natural kind of looking contour since I've been back off holiday. I think when you um, when you've not worn make makeup for like a week, um, I think you kind of appreciate your skin a bit more. That might sound really silly, but I don't know. I definitely feel like my skin is not breaking out at the moment. Um, since I've been back off holiday um, and I just think I'm trying to savour that <laughs> and kind of go as natural as I can at the moment. Um, then I'm taking my Lottie London Blush Crush in Justin with my Real Techniques Multitask Brush. Just popping that on the cheeks. And then I'm just taking my Make, Make MAC Light Scapade Mineralized Skin Finish and my Real Techniques uh, Angled Angled Highlighter Brush. I'm just popping that on the cheekbones. On the brow and just down the nose slightly. A tiny bit on the cupid's bow. Then I go back in with my mascara for the second coat. Um, and then I did buy um, these lipsticks from Freedom um, but I've, I tried them all yesterday this one literally I, I went to put it on and literally as I pushed it on my lip it snapped and that was probably the best colour out of all of them it doesn't come out as bright as it is in the little bit at the bottom um, these two are way too light um, and I can't really remember what this one looked like but I'm going to put my Rimmel Kate Moss uh, lipstick on in the shade 05 because I just like this lipstick okay so I'm sorry if the camera zoom angle anything has changed my camera just died on me so um, oh actually I don't know when it cut off <laughs> um I don't think it was too early if it was ah, I don't even know um okay so I'll just go through what I liked again so both the eyeshadow palettes I loved them um didn't like the lipsticks from freedom loved my l'oreal magic primer and my nip and fab hydrate drops um like the beauty blender um wouldn't say it's any better or any worse than my real techniques sponge it's more dense i feel like this might last a bit longer because the real techniques sponge is kind of split and break up and stuff like that so we shall see um and what else did i have um yeah, 
I think that's it. Um, I don't really know where the video cut off, so I'm sorry if um, I didn't finish the look on camera. Um, but this is the finished look. It wasn't what I was going for. I wanted a more summer, glowy tutorial. But if you'd like to see that, let me know and I will do that for you next week. Um, yeah, so that is the end of this video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and I'm pretty sure next to the subscribe button or somewhere under the video, there will be a little bell symbol. Make sure you click that, otherwise my videos won't go into your subscription box and you might not know when I've uploaded. Although I do try to upload every Sunday at 6 p.m. So keep an eye out on your Sunday evenings when you're sitting there wondering what to do. My video will be up soon for you to watch. So, yes, thank you so, so much for watching, um, and until next time, goodbye.